Okay, so the next question that we got on the menu today is asking us to multiply, um, multiply the following and write our answer um, in form. Okay, I'm, I'm going to guess that that means just like, you know, get the answer to the following. Okay, so the first one that we got on the menu today is um, minus 4 minus 2i, and that's in brackets. And the second term that we're multiplying in is 3 plus 2i. Okay, well, as we know, we can um, multiply the first two together. Let's do that in orange. So we'll have negative 4 times 3. Okay, and then maybe in uh, pink, we'll do the first of the first and the second of the second. So it'll be plus negative 4 times 2i. Okay, and then maybe in blueberry blue, we'll have this term multiplied this term plus negative 2i multiplied by 3 and then the last one let's do it in green we'll do this term and the last term so this will be plus negative 2i positive 2i I didn't really need to write the positive but I did because I feel like it Okay, so the colors were useful for where they came from, but now as we process this, we can, uh, um, it doesn't really matter where they came from originally. So let's just simplify this. We have negative 4 times 3, that's negative 12. Um, negative 4 times 2i, so that's negative 8i. Negative 2i plus, uh, times 3, so that's negative 6i. And then negative 2i times positive 2i that will be negative 4i squared so let's collect all like terms so here we'll have um, uh, negative 12 minus 14i minus 4i squared and to simplify this even farther um, all we need to keep in mind is that i squared is equal to negative 1 or i is equal to the square root of negative 1. Um, if you're not too familiar about complex numbers, um, I'll tell you this. Anytime that someone has told you that you can't take the square roots of a negative number has actually been lying. Um, you can't, or we invented new math to help deal with that because um, it is very useful across many different fields, especially like for me, I'm an engineer. So in like um, a lot of electrical applications, there's a lot of you know this number used but um if you're not too familiar with it don't worry about it too much right now just uh keep this relationship in mind and um, everything will be groovy okay so here we have an i squared term so let's substitute that out for a minus four times minus one so let's rewrite this this will be negative 12 minus 14 i minus uh that's actually going to be a plus now because see the two negatives neutralize each other into a positive so plus four so we could rewrite this as, well, negative 12 plus 4, that's negative 8, minus 14i. And that will be our answer for the part A. Part A. Okay, does that correspond to what we have here? Uh, yes, but with formatting issues. Okay, no, no worries. Everything looks good. So we can move on to part B, which is very similar. It's definitely got the same type of energy. Uh, it's a similar looking question too. So here we have positive 2 minus 3i. Multiply that term with negative 5 plus, oh well, just i on its own. Okay, so following the same procedure, um, just to be a little bit more quick, I'll skip the color coding. So 2 times negative 5 plus negative 3i, um, oops, my bad, messed up the order, plus 2 times i, plus negative 3i times negative 5, plus negative 3i times i, 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 captain, 
Cool, so let's simplify this. 2 times negative 5, that's negative 10. Plus 2i, that's nice and easy. Plus 15i. See the negatives, uh, they neutralize each other here. Um, plus 3, or, whoops. Minus 3i squared. Now we know that i squared is equal to 1, I mean equal to negative 1. So we can rewrite this. After combining like terms, we have negative 10 plus 17i plus 3, because the negative uh, 1 and the negative 3, they neutralize to positive 3. And this can be rewritten as negative 7 plus 17i. Okay, and that will be our part B in. Definitely got the same type of energy as uh, part A, but uh, just with different numbers, but we can come to a similar result. And this uh, is the form that we're expecting for complex numbers like this. So this is all good, all good. Okay, so D above solution is good formatting error on Part A does not show the negative. Otherwise, good. Okay, so our next question that we have on the menu today is, what is 240, 240 divided by 4? Okay, there are a couple of different ways that we can think about this. First, most easy way is just, you know, ask our calculator, what's 240 divided by 4? And our calculator will tell us fairly quickly. But another way that we can kind of um, see this is more clearly is we can kind of see this, well, it might be better to like kind of see this as a fraction, 240 over 4. But we know that 240 is and is last number is 0, right? So we can e we know that it's easily divisible by 10, and we know that 24 times 10, 240. And that makes perfect sense to me. So 24 times 10. So that's 240 on the top divided by 4. And we only need to divide one of these two terms by 4 to make this work out. 10 divided by 4 is 2.5, not really a great number. But 24 divided by 4, we know that's going to be 6, right? So this is equal to 24 over 4 times 10 and 24 divided by 4 well just thinking backwards 4 times what is 24 it's got to be 6 so this is equal to 6 times 10 that's equal to 60 right fairly straightforward um, this is a good way to kind of think about numbers is what are they really made up of on the inside right so um, yeah just splitting it up like this we can make it nice and simple to uh, to calculate but otherwise like anytime you have doubts on a division situation you want to ask your calculator because in general um, you're always going to have a calculator available anyone who tells you oh you're never going to have a calculator in the real world has never held a cell phone so you know it is the way it is uh yeah stay ready so yeah def answer is definitely 60 many ways that you can think about this yeah sounds good so the above solution is good Oh man, let me just switch my screen real fast. Time flies when you're having fun, as the old saying goes. So those are all the questions that we have for today. If you enjoyed today's Q&A and would like to be notified of when we do this next, please subscribe and hit the notification bell below. If you would like to submit your own questions, we have video links in the description to help you accommodate that. And remember, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you really like the video, share it with your friends. This has been Millen from One Class. I hope to see you again soon. And don't forget, the mathematic magic is always a fun time. Take care. Have an amazing day and an amazing night, no matter what time it is. And keep on mathing. One Class, it's a good time. Mathematics, always a good time. Thank you.